Hello good people of YouTube, All About Nat is back with another video and today guys we are going to look at Supreme Spring Summer 19 week 18. Yes 18, we're nearing the end of this predominantly terrible season but there's a massive but. This week, this morning when I woke up, put it this way, this morning when I woke up, I thought, oh my God, this is going to be the best week of the season. Oh my God. I want one item. Yes, one item. Oh my God, one item. It's been hard to actually want one item um, week on week. But no, I actually want two items, I'm thinking to myself. Two whole items. And then we get the email. Mm. Now, it's not still not a terrible week. It's actually a really, really good week. Um, but I am disappointed to learn that the ODB t-shirt, it would appear, is not dropping either at all, well, definitely not this week, or at all. And I'm gutted about that because I really did want that ODB t-shirt, but we'll get into the rest of it in just a second. So. What I want to say to you guys is, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that little notification bell so you know when I'm dropping a video. Please drop a like on this video, it really does help the channel and it takes you a nanosecond to actually do. Um, please support, you know, the small fry channels, we need every single one of you guys. Um, so yeah, that would be brilliant. And um, you know, comment down below, what do you think of this week? Are you going for anything? Is it another sleeper week for you? Or is it one of the best weeks we've had in a long time? So, without further ado, let's get into Supreme Spring Summer 19, week 18. Okay, so I do apologize for the reflection, but I am blind, I need to wear my glasses. If I don't wear them, I can't see what's on the screen. Um, but you can still see this little face of mine. Um, right. I'm going to go over the email that I got roughly about an hour ago and it is, it's not a very good kept secret, we have got a photo tee this week. Now most people will be going for this I do think because obviously photo tees notoriously have very good resale value. Um, now the guy on the tee, I'm going to be dead honest with you, I am I do like my reggae, but I'm not a massive reggae fan. I mean, you know, I like Bob Marley. Who doesn't like Bob Marley? But I'm not going to lie to you and say that I am a reggae connoisseur because I'm not. So I won't be going for this tea because I can't wear something that I don't truly believe in or not believe in, but know anything about because I'd feel an idiot, really. Um, so Buju Banton is... A, I'm not going to read the whole thing for you, you can go on the Supreme News and you can read all about him. He's a massive guy in the, in the reggae Jamaican music scene and he has been chosen for the photo tee. There will be numerous colours so the chances of getting this tee are probably high because as I say there'll be probably about like, I don't know, four or five colourways. Um, on the picture here we have the grey colourway and it's a nice tea, it is a nice tea, I like the back, I always do like that when they sort of write something on the back of the tees, the photo tees. Um, so he's done his little thing and he's done his little signature and that is the photo tee for this week. And I'm not going to lie, it's a nice photo tee. But I've got to trace, stay true to myself and as I say, I can't wear a guy on a tee I don't really know a lot about or I'm not massively into his music. I'm presuming that the grey is going to be the most hyped, grey, black or white, because they generally are. Um, okay, so on to the next one. I like this one. This is Greetings Tea. The tea is a picture of the Twin Towers. Um, I was lucky enough to actually see the Twin Towers three months before the um, terrorist attack. I have some great pictures of the Twin Towers and 
this is a really nice tea. I like I like the, um, the the sort of the message behind the tea. Probably won't be going for it, but it will all become clear why in a second. So greetings tea, great tea, well done, thank you Supreme, love it. Um, the Reaper tea, so we obviously have the official image of this. This has obviously been going around um, what the image was going to look like. And this is the official image, the Reaper tea original artwork by John, uh, jo John Smith. John Smith is an alcoholic drink. Um, Josh Smith. Um, and it's nice, it's alright, it's not bad. It's not something I would wear, but it's not offensive. It's a nice tea. I think the summer teas they've chosen are actually very good. Next one is it's It Gets Better Every Time tea. And again, I like this. I like the text they've chosen to go underneath the image. I wouldn't wear it because I'm not really into a woman sprawled over my tea. Um, but I do like it. I think it's a nice tea. And... The colourway is nice as well. I like that sort of sky blue colourway. Um, this this is pretty shit. The shears tea. It's some garden shears on a t-shirt. If I was still gardening like I used to do, I probably would get this to garden in. Um, but otherwise, no, yeah, it's a bit shit, and it'll probably sit for quite a while. Then we have the cloud tea. This is all right. I think it will be better on different colorways. I don't think it looks great on the white. Um, on different color, maybe that light blue, that sky blue, it might look nice on, but I'm not keen on it on the white. It's, the colors aren't great. But it's on, the image is all right. Don't mind the image. Then we have the Bella Lugosi tea, and this is gonna go fast. Um, just judging by Instagram, if you want to get a really good feel of um, what is popular and what's not, I would go on Instagram, go on the usual pages and just read the comments. Um, I think it's a little bit more realistic, it's a little bit more, yeah, realistic of what is popular rather than Supreme Community. That's just my theory though, that's my theory, if anyone disagrees with that, fine comment down below. Okay, so the Bella Lugosi, great image, obviously historical, not something I'll be going for, but it will go fast. Then we have the Dynamite tea. I like this. I love the colours, I love the, the cartoon Dynamite little figures. It's a really nice tea and I do think this is going to be quite popular. Anything that says Supreme on the front is going to be popular, but I like the colourway, I like the colours they've chosen, and the design itself is nice. Now, Going back to the beginning, some people have missed this, but I think Drops by Jay has highlighted it. There is two t-shirts for Buju Banton. There is two t-shirts. It says at the bottom they will be um, the seven in total, but there is two t-shirts that he's done. One is unseen at this minute in time. Now the name of it is called Awake the World. Um, so obviously we'll see that either leaked, maybe tomorrow um, or on the day so just to let you know two t-shirts so that is the email that we got now I'm gonna go in into uh, some highlighted items the top six and also some highlights that a lot of people have been dropping uh, dropping a lot of people have been waiting for now um, one of those items that a lot of people have been waiting for is the nylon water short in the cherry uh, design so obviously the cherry design a lot of people love that rayon shirt which I do I think it's nice it looks nice on guys really like it um, and it's in a sort of a brown and a black but there are other colorways in the nylon water shirt you've got pink orange teal black and royal blue but those two cherry shorts will go fast the shears skateboard deck is dropping you don't need to see a picture of that because it's the same as the bloody t-shirt it's gonna be shit it's gonna sit blah 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 now the top six so I'll go into the number six at the moment now this is just on supreme community I urge you to go and look at comments rather than this the um, Terry Jackard logo shorts are dropping um, and they're dropping in five different colorways red black teal navy and white 
and it's kind of got the Supreme logo embossed all over them. They're going to go fast. I know it says six on here, but I think they will go faster than that. Then obviously I've already mentioned number five is the Bougie Banton t-shirt, but I actually think this is going to be the most hyped item of the week, purely because of the resale value to it. Um, then the Reaper T. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure, sure I agree with that being fourth. Then the Mother Flipper towel. The Mother Flipper. The Mother Flipper towel. That comes in an orange colourway. I think it's awful. Yeah. And not because it says Mother Flipper. Just because it's just awful. Don't like the design at all. But that is third most height, allegedly. Then we have the Grand Prix Camp Cap. I agree this is going to be hyped. Whether it's going to be the second most hyped is another matter. Uh, not something that I would wear, but the Grand Prix design on the jacket and was it shorts? Shorts. They were quite popular. So um, that is allegedly the second most hyped. The most hyped item of the week, and this is what I'm going for. Whether I'll get it, whether this is true and it is going to be the most hyped is another matter. I will try my utmost, manual gang, copy and paste gang. I will try my best, but whether I will or not, I don't know. It is the um, Mocha Express coffee jug. Um, depending on the, I'm going to say this now actually, depending on the price, I will be going for it. Um, because I did really want to get the ODB t-shirt, but whether that's been pulled, I don't know. It's annoying because I really wanted that t-shirt. Um, but I will be going for the coffee jug. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But it is good that the Bougie Banton t-shirt is dropping at the same time because it might help the people who want the jug itself. I'm a massive coffee drinker, I love my coffee in the morning, so this is something that I would use. Um, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. It is a good week, as I say, there are other items, if you want to see the full list, please go to Supreme Community. Um, that is the highlights that I've just shown you. Some great t-shirts, there's only one really that is bad and that's the Shears one. The rest are really good and they're reasonably, reasonably priced, so if you guys, the younger folk of the world, want a t-shirt or want something that's supreme and it's it's reasonable price, then go for a t-shirt, really nice, really nice designs. Um, so I suspect the Bougie Banton t-shirt is going to be the most hyped, um, and then probably the jug. I'm not hopeful on getting the jug. Uh, especially if we have problems like we had last week yeah a lot of people had more, worse problems than I did but yeah I'm, I'm, un, I'm unsure whether I'll, I'll get it but fingers crossed let's hope so um, thank you so much for watching I have an unboxing coming for you tomorrow uh, from last week's drop also when the weather improves this week I'm going to be doing a supreme fit video for you just styling your supreme items let me know in the comments I would like you to tell me I'm thinking about doing my sneaker news Sunday monthly just because it doesn't really get the views and if I can do it monthly it might actually um, have a little bit more content to it so I might do those monthly, I might move them to a monthly slot. Let me know in the comments what do you think of that, would you prefer me to keep them weekly? I do need your opinion on this, I do need some feedback from you guys because obviously you guys are the ones that watch my videos. So um, thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and all about that, we'll see you on the next one. Keep it real guys!